Adam Zoom with Jatai Academy. Welcome to another educational video. Today we're answering a reader question, and the question was, I'm having trouble working with colleagues. Have you got any tips, tricks, or pointers you can offer to make the colic situation a little bit easier? And the answer is, there's three rules that apply to every colic you ever encounter in your entire career. These are unchanging, constant rules of the industry. Rule number one is leave it longer. Length equals strength. Every extra millimeter that a piece of hair is longer, it is stronger. It weighs more and it's better able to overcome the desire to pop that is created by a cowlick. So rule number one, especially in the top crown, leave it longer. If it's left longer, it'll lay down, cowlick can be taken care of. Rule number two is cut it short enough so that it will in fact stand up, yet it will contour into the general silhouette of the haircut. Many times in the top crown, in order to leave it long enough to lay down, it might need to be seven inches long. That's not really an option, so we cut it short. A good example of that in practice is my hair. At the sides of my hair, my hair sticks straight out off my head based on its texture, but it contours into the overall shape of my haircut. So rule number one was leave it long enough to lay down. Rule number two, cut it short enough so that it will stick up, yet it will contour into the silhouette of the haircut. And that leaves us with rule number three. Rule number three is gone. Obviously, rule number three doesn't apply at the top crown or the front hairline for the most part. Cut it off. In through the nape area and the neckline, put that colic on the floor with your feather razor. It'll be back in two weeks. Now, specific to our question was, what about strong colics in the front hairline? And as I said earlier, the rules don't change. Rule number one was leave it longer. You may need to have enough length in the front of a haircut that the cowlick comes up and falls over. Sometimes that dictates the placement of partings. Sometimes that dictates the nature of the front of the hairline of the customer. But we really can't shave these things off at the front hairline. They may look good today, but it will very quickly look objectionable as that hairline grows back in. Rule number two was cut it short enough to stick up. My hair sticks up along the front hairline. If a customer wants that haircut to lay down, we're gonna have to cut it so short that it does in fact lay down or leave it long enough that it lays down and lays in. The midpoint would be having it stick up. I'm not an advocate of the notion in the front hairline of cutting those cowlicks off. You will see occasionally in the urban ethnic marketplace in African American, Asian, and Latino haircutting that they will define the hairline by shaving, razoring, clippering, and cutting into it. Assuming that's consistent with the style thereafter, and assuming we're not migrating too far back into the haircut, that can be, although in limited cases, a viable option. So when in doubt, when we're encountering a cowlick, we go to our three rules. Long enough to lay down, short enough to stick up, or gone. Different places on the head and different textures of hair will really dictate which of those choices is the default option for your customer. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai. Thanks for watching and have a great day.